Hello everyone, Quinn Giddy here. Welcome back to another video. Today I am here and we're going to be talking about Life by You, the brand new life simulation game that has been announced even more. Uh, we just got a teaser announcement. Well, we got like a full reveal announcement yesterday and it came with all of these really cool gaming features that I'm so excited to go through. Um, from what I've gathered, this is looking like a very highly detailed, um, very much more like controlling kind of life simulation game where the sims you could you know really you know control your sim this you can literally control life like literally every aspect of life the the townies the houses the world like the dialogue everything and i think it's really cool so today i am going to be using this thread that was created by fake gamer girl on twitter they also have a youtube go subscribe to them um they also made their own video so if you want to go watch fake gamer girl official before you watch me go ahead because they are amazing but um i am stealing their thread from twitter because i just think it's it's a great thread um and it is called why ea should be absolutely terrified of life by you and we're just going to go through it very briefly um first we have the logo which is like a Okay, the logo is kind of reminding me of, you know, like being recorded almost, you know, it's like, like the recording logo and like, I don't mind it, but it could be cuter. But anyways, maybe it's, maybe it's temporary. First things first, Life by You has no rabbit holes or loading screens. You can go to work and control your characters at work too. You can also switch to anyone and any time. This means that there is like, your sim will just never disappear. You can always control your character and also like, you can switch to anyone and any time. If you see a random townie and you want to click on them and control them, you can control them. If you want to make it like Tuesday, but it's Saturday night, you can fast forward all the way to Tuesday. Like, it's crazy. You can time jump. You, you can household jump. It's insane. It's really insane. Then we have character creation is already super in-depth with the ability to choose your age, sexual preference, sexual identity, pronouns, your job, your upbringing, upbringing and your preferred vehicle like that is crazy i love the fact that they have all of these in place this is really important for a game especially made in 2023 you know i'll give it to the sims sims 4 was made in like what 2014 2015 um so a lot of you know stuff like that um like being open about sexual preference and sexual identity and pronouns was not widely socially used back in 2014 but it wasn't an excuse for them to just start including it this year like that's crazy and so any game from now on that is going to include this stuff like just having the option to choose you know have non-binary as a gender option that is a huge step for video game kind and i'm really 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 happy about that um the characters themselves definitely look like they are still in the works but they are giving very like much more detailed and the fact that you can pick your upbringing and preferred vehicle like i wonder what the choices are going to be for that like are there choices just to the upbringing like that's confusing to me but also kind of cool um and then we have you are complete of you are in complete control of the world the game features a town editor and a town creator you can skip an entire decade if you want it so those are two different things right there like i mentioned you can skip time and fast forward time i don't know how time is going to work in this game compared to you know in real life you can skip an entire decade like what is a decade you know like what because sims time like a decade my entire my entire generation would be gone um but i love the fact that you can control the world i love the fact that you can control the town i think that that's really cool i've been really longing for at least being able to like place a lot in the world in the sims for you know i don't need to make a whole town but like if i could even just place a lot where you know ugh, i just wish so badly but this seems pretty cool. This seems really, really cool. Um, and then we also have the game is built in an object creator slash editor where you could make your own objects, change existing ones, alter their functionality, and the game is fully moddable and all the modding tools are provided for you, which is insane. So this is giving me like Steam Workshop. If you've ever played a game off of Steam, you can, you basically have everything all the mods and like the tools kind of for you same with like with like forge creator forge very similar to that as well this it looks insane it's, it's really insane that you could have this like i don't know if i want this level of customization in my game like this is not something that i would foresee myself using like changing each leaf on this tree like i don't know if i would be doing that but it's still a cool option to have because when you think about simulating life and really if it's called life by you you know if i want my tree to have a purple leaf then best believe it's going to have a purple leaf because that's life by me. You know what I mean? I think that that is just like a really cool, it's a really cool idea. Um, and then we have a build by mode has a creative style tool. That's it. 
that's the tweet. Yes, I miss Creative Style. I definitely, like in The Sims 3, I used Creative Style a lot. I don't know if I used it as much as other people did because I never really found a way to like make everything match and some of the patterns didn't look good or the textures didn't look good on certain um, objects. But in a game that's made in 2023 and being released in 2023, I'm sure Creative Style is gonna look amazing, um, especially when it comes to designing. I know a lot of my simmers that I watch would love Creative Style. So this is really, really really cool. Full dialogue options when talking to characters. They are contextual and change depending on where you are, who you're talking to, what your relationship is like, etc. There is also an in-game dialogue editor where you can create and share your own stories for others to play. Like, that's also insane. Like, how you can sit, you know, pick what they say to each other. I'm assuming there's no made-up language like The Sims, but um, it's just like, again, I don't know if this is something I need, but it's definitely something that's so cool and different for us who play life simulation games. Like this really is quite honestly unheard of. Also, sorry, I'm like so thirsty. It's it's literally unheard of. It's it's really, I don't know how I feel about it. It's really weird. Um, and then here's a look at the color wheel. Um, and also just looking generally at the like style of the game. It definitely looks realistic. Um, I'm hoping that it looks even better because it's looking realistic to the point where it's fake. You know what I mean? It's looking like basic. It's not giving like, when I look at a Sim, I'm like, oh my God, like the, the Sims are very cartoony. And I always remember thinking that they look very cartoony, but I look at it and I'm like, that is the Sims. Like that is the style of the Sims. I hope that Life by You has its own unique style. And I'm sure that that'll, you know, keep being built as we go on throughout it. But like, it's really, really, really cool. And I hope that The Sims 5 or Project Renee takes notes with some of these things, especially when it comes to something as simple as the color wheel. Um, and that's it. That was the thread of why EA should be absolutely terrified. Now, I think these are two very different games. I do not think that they intend to be the same thing. This truly is like an entire world simulator. Um, and Sims sometimes to me feels like it's more so just, you know, controlling aspects of daily life. Um, but maybe Project Renee will be different. Project Renee is also focusing on multiplayer, which is something that Life by You hasn't stated yet, but could be. I'm not sure. Don't count me on that. But that's another thing that we have to think of when we compare these two things. Like, they're going to be two different games at the end of the day. Same with Paralives. Um, it's going to be a different game as well. It's a very different style. It is also very customizable, but it is very different. So I'm super excited to see where Life by You goes. The pre-ordering is out. I believe it's like $40 um, or $49.99, something like that. Um, but it will be more expensive when their actual game comes out. And also the specs for it are crazy. You have to have a pretty well-running computer in order to download the game, which I would expect for a game of such great detail. Um, but that is it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below about of Life by You. I want to hear your thoughts. Do you think that this really is a Sims competitor or do you think this is just a completely different game? For now, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like it to break off and I will see you guys all again next time. Goodbye. Woo!